Hey, what's up guys, it's Be The Installer. I'm actually out here to install an outdoor TV. So for this outdoor TV installation, we're actually putting up a 52 inch Sony TV and I'm using this Pippi Shell arm mount that we buy on Amazon. I'll link this in the description. Uh, it's a great little arm mount that I use uh, for a lot of installs. So this is great for an outdoor TV. And uh, we're taking an older TV uh, for this outdoor area. A lot of times people wonder what TV to get for those outdoor areas. So ask me if you'd like, but I don't necessarily recommend that you buy an outdoor TV. Uh, a lot of times I just say, get a cheaper TV, put a vinyl cover over it. You know, if you need to lock it up in case they have these locks that you can kind of tie it to the wall and it's pretty cool. And so this 52 inch Sony is gonna go up on this wall over here on this arm mount and then give it a little swivel for this area over here that we'll show you. So we're gonna show you first kind of uh, what to do to find power in the area that you're going to be putting the TV and then uh, and then after that we're going to kind of show you how to find the studs on the outside from the inside and, and go from there with hanging the TV on the stucco wall. So for this wall here um, we're going to center this uh, from left to right and we're going to kind of center it from the door up so the center of the TV will be in this in this area here and kind of identifying that area is, is the first thing you need to do and then identifying within the width of the TV where you're gonna be able to put that power outlet is next. So I think we have a power outlet inside the wall somewhere in this range and I'm gonna show you with using the studs how to get that. Uh, and just understanding what tools you need is important too. So you'll need your typical like drill, drill bits, uh, level, tape measure, pencil. But if you're doing this outside, you probably need a, a hammer drill to bust through the stucco like I'm gonna do. Or if you have wood walls or aluminum siding, that's you know different. You might need to do different things for that. Some people also will just run a power cord up and run a, a electrical uh, to an electrical box or something to make it easier for them. So whatever your situation needs, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to go ahead and do the power outlet here. We're going to have the TV here, and then they're just going to use a fire stick to stream off of their Wi-Fi. So that's kind of a common way that most people do this. But first, I'll center this uh, and, and make our, our centering marks. So that's real quick. So I'll make a mark at five feet over here. And so that's about right there is the center. Uh, maybe, I don't know if you can see that, but so we're at 58 inches that way. 58 inches that way, so there you go. So we know that this is our center mark right there. Uh, and then as I said, vertically, um, we're gonna figure that out too uh, based off of the height. So I'll measure the height and, and we'll get our TV in an exact area and I'll show you how to put the mount on and all that next. But the next thing I do after this is I need to find out where the studs are. So I'll mark this with a C and now I need to know uh, how far this is away from this window so that on the inside of the wall I can measure. So here is the inside of the wall where that TV is going to go and, and as you can see there's a power outlet right here. And my goal is I'm just going to draw straight up and I'm going to put a power outlet on the outside of the wall and I'm going to suck it down and put the power into this uh, into this outlet right here. So if you're going to put a TV outside, you kind of have to have a plan like this. And if there was no power outlet down here, I would have to think of a different plan or I'd have to understand how am I going to get power to that TV so that can be more complicated. So the first step really is to just understand where your TV, where you want to put your TV and is there power that you can draw from to, to power that TV outside. So to this wall right there is 61 inches. So I'm gonna go back out and I'm gonna mark that. So if I mark that 61 inches, basically I can kind of put a little groove there and the, the end of my inside wall is right there. And so that gives me an idea that if I start to move over by 16 inches, 16 inches, 16 inches is likely where I'm gonna hit studs. So now what I do is on the inside of the wall, I'm gonna measure those studs and we're gonna find the marks and then we're gonna make those corresponding marks out here. First, you need to find your center, kind of understand where the mount's gonna go based on where the studs are in there. And then once you know all that, then we can figure out where the power outlet will go above or below your mount. I'm gonna measure and see where the studs are. So my first stud was right there. So only about 10 inches away is a stud. I'm gonna keep going. And I'm gonna measure my next stud. So there you go. There's my next stud. So I'm gonna measure over. Nine inches from that mark I made is where the stud is, and then 25 inches is the other one, which is 16 apart. So that's where we're gonna do it out here. So come on back out. The mount's gonna go right here. Um, we have a mark nine inches away right there, so I'm gonna make a little groove. Uh, that mark right there is a stud, so I'm gonna put S, and then we have another 16 inches. It's better just to use 
um, to put your tape measure on there and mark nine and then mark 25 because sometimes if you keep moving your tape measure, you'll have little inconsistencies. So it's better just to keep extending it out. So this is the one bay we don't want to use. And then this is the bay where the power is right here. So down here is the power out that we saw inside. And that's really important when understanding where you're going to put your TV because this 52 inch TV is probably about 40 some inches wide. And if our center, say 46, if our center is here, then that's our TV left to right. And this area where the, this area right here will be behind the TV. So I'm going to put the power outlet probably about right here where I missed this stud, but it's important to know where that stud is. So if I start drilling into the stucco and I beat up a bunch of stucco and then behind it is a big stud, then I can't put a power outlet there. So I need to make sure I can put my power outlet over here to the right of that stud. So next step is I'm going to figure out, I'm going to put the brackets on the TV and then I'm going to figure out the height of the mount on the wall and then we'll start putting this all together. All right, so for this install uh, of this outdoor TV, I'm gonna use this Pippi Shell uh, TV wall mount bracket. Uh, I'll link it in the description. It's a good little arm mount, as I had said. We're gonna attach it to the Sony TV, so I'm gonna unbox this uh, mount, and I'm gonna throw it on the TV, the brackets, and then I'll explain kind of what we're gonna do after that. So just kind of follow along. So with any of these mounts, here is the, uh, the bolts and the spacers and the washers. And what you have to do is find a combination of all those to have this work. Um, sometimes with boxes like this, you know, you have to get at these screws below. So sometimes I just kind of break that down and get it out of the way. And then you have access to it. Just make sure your TV's not going to tip. I'm comfortable with where it's at right now. Maybe not quite as comfortable as I'd want to be. But uh, we'll make sure it doesn't tip as long as you make sure yours doesn't. And so we're gonna get these on here. I kind of like to have them somewhat centered, uh, uh, you know, give you a little adjustability up or down if you have it. Some TVs max out these mounts and you only have one option of where to put them. But this one I'm gonna put right about here and we'll then measure the, get this measured up. So let me go ahead and install these. All right, so as usual with any TV installation, uh, all that matters is where these brackets sit relative to the TV. So we have 30 and a half inch tall TV at, let's just call it 14 inches is where it crosses this line here, okay? 14 inches of just over 30. So we're gonna measure up, 14 inches is where that mount bracket goes of 30 inch tall TV. So let's translate that to the wall and, and where the customer wants this TV. Okay, so I said it was about 14 inches and that's where this hits. But we actually have to get where the bracket on the wall goes, so that's another inch higher. So we're gonna call it 15 inches up is where we want it on the wall of the 30 inch tall TV. So I have to first measure this height, which I'm gonna get grab real quick. Okay, so we measured down halfway through the door and then we actually spoke with the customer about it being a little bit too low if we split that difference. So of the 30 inch tall TV, which is about right here, we decided instead of having it down here, we're gonna raise it up, you know, four or five inches. And so this is where we want the TV, from the 30 inch mark up here to the bottom of the tape. And so, as we said, the mount was 14 inches up, but the actual backing of the mount was 15. So on the wall, we have to make this mark at 15 inches, but that's where the mount will sit. We can mark this. And then we can go ahead and cross-reference where the studs are and attach it. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bracket up and uh, mark these studs real quick. So I'm going to actually cut a hole right in the center there with a, with a uh, 3 8 drill bit. That way my quarter inch uh, uh, bolt will fit through there. I'm going to do that on the top and the bottom since I know I need that. If your mount fits better and you can just make your little circles that cross-reference your stud, you can do that. Uh, but let me go ahead and make my holes here and then I'll bring it back up. So as I said, I've returned, made some holes. Uh, now I'm going to level this and make sure it's in, in the right spot. Actually, center is over a little bit to the left. So I want to make sure I'm in my center mark, which is right here. Um, and level this out at your line. 
And once that's there, then you can kind of make, you can circle in where your holes need to be made, unless it moves on you. Try that again. And then on each side, I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna hit the holes on the top. And as far as the bottom ones, you don't necessarily need to make more bottom ones. If you have it pinched on a stud in the middle and you put a toggle bowl on each top, there's not any pressure that pulls up on the mount and that, that stud in the middle can easily hold. The weight pulling down is the thing. So if you have it hitting three spots on the top and one on the bottom, you're solid. So now for me, this is stucco. I have to go ahead and bang through these holes with the stucco drill and then we'll be able to use the regular drill to drill into the actual wood stud. All right, so I got this uh, Hilti drill is what I use. Um, this drill, I'm gonna bang through these two holes and see that we hit that we hit wood. If it slams through, obviously you, hit, you don't hit a stud. We gotta figure out if we're left or right or where we gotta go. Um, in these other spots where I'm gonna try to hit one of these two, I wanna do the same thing. And if I hit plywood, then I'm gonna use a drywall screw or so, or like a wood screw to hold it on because that's just helping to hold some of the side weight for it to tilt. Again, these two uh, in the middle are gonna hold all of the weight of this TV and we're gonna hit these other two. If it goes right through this stucco and there's nothing behind it, then I'm gonna use a toggle bolt, which can hold a ton of weight on just the stucco alone, in addition for supplemental support. So let me go ahead and uh, drill. I use a 3 8 bit here because if I do a 3 8 bit, then I can fit a 1 quarter inch um, lag bolt in there with the threads on it. It doesn't chew up the threads. So we'll go ahead and check it out. So as I said, this went straight through and missed. I kind of angled it to see that the, the only stud is the one that we had talked about where there's the one stud here. So with my mount, I can shift it a little to the right of center. Uh, I'm okay with that. So I am just gonna use the hole that I had lined up here. I'm gonna move them over an inch. So let me grab the mount and do that. So for me, again, the TV and the bracket and the mount all give us a little wiggle room to move left and right on this. Some of you don't have wiggle room. If I couldn't use this, I could put toggle bolts here and hit a different stud, but I'm going to just move it over uh, basically about an inch to the right because I know that the stud's there. Now that I've kind of drilled in at this angle here, I can feel that there's a stud right there. So we're just going to bang it out right next to it. And there we go. So now we've hit that stud. And then now that that one hits the stud, we know that this one below it will. There we go. So those are going to be where we drive the lag bolts in and I'll drill that with the regular drill. And so since we reposition this over a little bit to the right, these are the two holes that we're gonna use now. So I'm gonna mark, I'm gonna go ahead and just drill and make sure we either hit something or nothing. So because these didn't hit anything, there is no plywood behind this and therefore I'm gonna use the toggle bolts. So I'm gonna drill half inch holes now to these. So on this, uh, I, I, I increase to a half inch and we'll drive right through there. Okay, so we have our four holes done. We have two toggle bolts that are gonna kinda keep the mount from shifting, but the main weight is all gonna be on this one central stud. So now that we have our mount good to go, we'll throw that up and then we'll worry about the electrical outlet next. So when using toggle bolts and using the studs, you can drill the holes, but you have to put the toggle bolts in first. So we're gonna have to get that in there, get it situated. These snap toggles can be bought at Home Depot. Um, these are one quarter inch snap toggles. Uh, I think they're two and a half inches long, but you have to drill a half inch hole for these. Uh, and then you just push them through the hole and then pull it back out. It flattens it in the back of the wall uh, against the back. And then you just snap off this piece. So we have the two toggle bolts in and we're gonna put those in first. But right before I do that, it'll just be a little easier if I actually drive the quarter inch uh, uh, bit in there and, and make my holes. So I'm gonna do that. So now that we have those holes here, we can just drive all four of these in. I'll put the toggle bolts on first. Do the same thing on this side. Uh, as I said, if I tighten those two all the way up, you could hold the weight. I'm almost doing a pull up right now and it's not even moving. It's sliding a little bit, but I haven't even tightened them. So now I'm gonna go ahead and line up 
make sure it's level and I'm gonna drive our two big lag bolts which are gonna go three inches into that stud. So I have a, uh, again, I, I always tell people I have this 3 8 drive to a hexagonal that goes on my drill bit or on my drill. And then we have these lag bolts, they're quarter inch lag bolts with a washer. And we're gonna go ahead and just drive that straight into our hole that we drilled. And that's in there nice and solid. And I'm gonna do the bottom one too and then I'm gonna micro adjust everything. So that is solid as a rock. Let me go up here and put the level up. What I would do first now to tighten is to tighten this top lag bolt, that's very important. And then I'm going to tighten the bottom lag bolt. And when you have those two lag bolts tighten like that, the mount can't move. Now I'm going to go ahead and really tighten up these, these uh, togglers as well. There you go. So that is a TV mount mounted to a external stucco wall. And we did not have plywood behind it, so that made it a little bit more complicated. Uh, we're going to go ahead and work on this power outlet now which is going to be i think it's in this bay we said which will be clearly behind the tv but we want to make sure it's still neat and organized okay so for putting the power outlet on we have the um you know the power outlet box it's the old work meaning that it has the little flippers to grab on to the stucco or drywall uh, we have a gfci 20 amp power outlet for outdoor waterproof and all that and then we have this awesome cover plate that expands. Uh, the reason I use these ones is because a lot of times you're gonna have something in there permanently. And so you can either get the giant bubble one or you can get the one that has a flip up. But this is the one that's kind of in between where you can put something in there and then you can kind of compress it to the best of your ability. And it's waterproof, it has the waterproofing around it. So I recommend these are like $8 at Home Depot. So all this stuff was about 30 bucks right here. And then um, we use the 12-2 the Romex. This stuff's a little thicker, but on a 20 amp fuse, especially outdoors and all this, we gotta, we gotta use the 12-2, which is a nice, strong electrical wiring. So let's go ahead and get to the wall here. So we put the power outlet where we want it, again, to the right of the stud. We want to have it close to the TV so it's not out in the perimeter. Uh, you can, if you, if you have a chance to put it on the inside, if your power outlet is in the middle somewhere, that's great too. Mine just happens to be on the outside for this person, so I'm going to go ahead and mark it up. Put that there. Uh, and now I'm going to, I'm going to use my uh, hammer drill to kind of make an outline of this. Okay, so as I said, I'm just going to go ahead and, and show you guys how I make my, uh, my box here. Beautiful, huh? All right, so we made uh, basically what we need to do for the box. Um, so now what we have to do uh, is cut up this wire. So I'm gonna use the snips and cut out these little wire and I'm gonna clean up this hole and I'm gonna make it so that that blue box fits in there and we're gonna cinch it up. So we'll give it a check and see how close we are. Look at that, it fits. So we're good on that. So now what we have to do is find a way to get the wire from here down to that power outlet. And the way to do that is actually to fish tape it up from that power outlet to this hole and then suck the wire down in from this area. So we'll do that now. Power outlet off. Of course, turn the power off. Uh, this one is dead right now because we haven't connected it to the other one that we're doing. So. I'm, I'm working with a dead power outlet right here, um, but make sure you are too. And now what we have to do is, if you, you can't really see, but you know, there's the clips on these boxes um, and I pushed, I, I pulled one of these clips out of the way and now I'm going to feed this fish tape up and I'm going to go out there and I'm going to catch it. It's not that difficult if you have um, insulation or you're dealing with some other things. There may be a fire block, which we haven't addressed yet. So we may end up finding out that this is going to hit a fire block and I'll have to cut a little drywall off here, which is fine. I'll show you how to do that. It's kind of what we did here, but let's first go ahead and fish this up the wall and see what we get. So it's funny. I was actually digging around in there trying to find it and it's just sitting right there. So uh, we're good. Um, there it is. So really fishing is not that hard. I mean, I don't know about real fishing or fly fishing. I'm not the fisherman. 
but fish taping in the wall, it's not that hard. Uh, people sometimes get a little bit uh, scared of it, but we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our wiring and we're gonna suck it back down into that. So let me grab the tape. Okay, and we're gonna make sure we have some good overlap here and put that tape up ahead of the end of it and give it a good wrap there. It's no sense in having this fall off in the wall. So over taping it a little bit is okay. All right, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, you kind of have to pull as you push. So I'm one person, so I'm gonna kind of feed it in the wall myself a little bit and, and uh, I'll do a little push and pull and make this work. But uh, we're gonna suck this down the wall. All right, so my cameraman had to help me give it a little, a little push while I pulled, so we got it. And I'm gonna pull that off. And so now we have uh, the dead end down here by our electrical outlet. So I'm gonna go out there and finish up the uh, install out there, and then we'll tag it to the power in here and we'll be done. Okay, so we're gonna you know, give us ourselves a little extra wire there to stick out of the box. And I'm gonna cut down the middle here. We gotta put the box in first though. So let's go ahead and we'll make our little hole for the, um, the wire to come through. We'll feed this all in. Give ourselves a little extra room there. Okay, we're gonna drive these in there. We're gonna kinda bang it with your expensive drill if you need to. And then we're gonna tighten those up. There we go, tighten that one up. I can see it flip. That one looks like it needs a little more depth. There we go. And we're solid, we're good. So now let's go ahead and get that power outlet done. Okay, so we have a little extra here to cut off. And uh, this UFCI has, you just, you know, you don't need a ton, you only need about a three eighths of an inch to uh, connect. So you, you do these a little different than some other power outlets. You just attach the wire and really tighten it up. Make sure you do black and brass and uh, the white is always on the side of the ground. Okay, so we got the black here. We're gonna go negative there. And we're gonna tighten this up real hard. Make sure that they can't pull off at all. And then get the ground on the bottom there. All right. Now we're gonna kind of bend it up. I can push some of that extra wire as long as it, the, the, the cover still stays in there. Okay, now that we have this, uh, now that we have the, um, the power outlet ready, we actually have to put the screws through this first to hold it on. So you put the screws through here first and then you put them through the actual power outlet. And then um, once you have that on, then you line it up with the box. And so I'll line it all up. Okay, that's good there. And then we'll get the top one as well. Our power outlet's up. It's waterproof. Good seal around the edge as you can see. And so now we have the power outlet up. We have the mount up. And so now we can hang the TV and we're good. The only thing left to do is tag it to the power inside, which I'll show you right now. So, down here, we need to attach to this. And on these GFCI outlets that are all together, you have to run them in line. So we're gonna connect to the bottom. We're gonna need a wire nut to connect the two uh, grounds. Um, I'm not sure. Again, make sure that your power's off. Again, this power is not on, so I know that. Um, you should always have your power off when you're doing this. and make sure that the, the, the sides line up. Make sure that you get your wires kind of out of the way again. There we go. We're connected. And we need to connect this uh, line here. I'm gonna grab a, a wire nut and I'm gonna put that on here and, and wire nut it up. I'm just gonna get it out of the way so that we can see what I'm doing here. But what you should do is tie that with the wire nut and run another third line to the actual power outlet. But I have more electrical work to do, so I will do that in a bit. And uh, then what we do is just 
push this back in. And then once it's all in the box and it's, it's nice and um, nice and secure and you're not, none of the wires are touching, then we're gonna, um, we're gonna actually turn this on and we're gonna fire up the, the TV outside and that'll be awesome. So let's go ahead and fire that TV up and we'll be done with this install. All right, so we have the power completed here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull this mount out and I'm gonna lift the TV up in here and then we'll connect everything and get it going. So we're gonna hang the TV now. Go ahead and do the old one hand, one person hang here. There we go, got it up. And uh, we'll plug this sucker into the power. And now we can use that, ex that bubble cover and lock that up and uh, cinch these wires up and we'll turn it around. pretty good so this is how you make an outdoor TV look good I hope you enjoyed it make sure to pound the like button subscribe to get all these videos like this and uh, make sure that you follow the instructions so you can be the installer